Okay, I have another recent purchase to show you. It is the Bella household radio meter and this dates from 1991 and I've ran everything through Google Translate, all the instructions and uh, it was made in the instrument factory number three. It says down here, which is quite nice. It measures up to 99.99 microsieverts and it takes a 40 second uh, background reading and then the unit resets itself and then begins counting again. Control wise, we have multifunction on off switch. We have a uh, audio on off switch and then we have a button at the top that resets the unit. So it resets it back to zero. And then that also acts as a battery test switch as well. Turning the unit on, it begins to do its background count. Now the background level in the shed at the moment is around about 28.28 microsieverts. So I'm guessing this now, the therapy, which, I'm, which I have on all the time, uh, and this both share, they have one tube. So the similarity between the two is they both have this single tube. Now obviously the therapy can detect beta. This can only detect gamma. Uh, the tube is shielded uh, from beta, but to, as, as you'll see in a few minutes, uh, I don't think it's shielded 100% because it does tend to go slightly higher than I would get with, uh, you know, another gamma only meter. Now let me see, what are we on here? 0.27, the therapy says. And we're getting 0.25 with this. So they are quite close. So that's quite nice that this unit is still reasonably calibrated. Uh, after the 40 seconds, then this unit will zero itself automatically and then begin counting again, which I think is actually quite a nice feature that you don't have to do it there. So there you see, it has zeroed itself and then it begins counting again. And at any time, you can just press the button on the top and it goes back to zero again. Okay, so I've brought in a piece of pitch blend and what I'm gonna do then is just run a quick check on this. So uh, what I will do first of all is I will show it up against this gamma only meter. Uh, just so that you can see what a gamma only reading will be from this because obviously this unit has a single tube it's only supposed to be reading gamma so this unit is well shielded and again only reads gamma and we'll see what reading we get on this modern meter and then we'll compare it to this one so strongest part of this pitch blend is right here so what i'll do is i'll put this meter up against it turn it on and we'll see what we'll get So we saw there it went up to about 30 and now it's dropping down now. So if we say 29, if we take 29 as our reading from this in gamma, we will do exactly the same thing with the Bella and this time I will hold it. So we'll turn it on and then the tube is about here. So there you can see that the tube inside the Bella is slightly less shielded than the more modern meter and that we're getting a slightly higher count then from that pitch blend and if I want to zero that I can just zero it. So what I'll do is I'll turn the sound off and then turn it back on again so we have no sound now. And then I'll bring in a meter which was, was brought out around the same time, which is the Jupiter. And in fact, I'll turn on the Jupiter. And the Jupiter doesn't have, you can't turn the sound off on the Jupiter. But in fact, what I'll do is I'll zero them both. I'll turn them both, I'll zero them, put them both off. And I'll turn them both on at the same time. And I'll see what happens turning them on at the same time. If I'm able to do that.
So we can see with the Jupiter, the Jupiter actually has two SBM20 tubes in it. So it's slightly more sensitive, or will be double as sensitive. And the Jupiter counts for 20 seconds, and obviously this counts for twice as long for 40 seconds. So there you go, you can see they're not too far off each other, which is quite interesting. But it's good that meters of this age uh, still operate, you know, as well as they did when they were first made. And I think it's fair to say that it still holds up in, in terms of a functioning meter that you could buy and actually use on a daily basis. Uh, obviously running on a 9 volt battery, it's, you know, still reasonably future-proofed. Uh, I am pretty impressed with it, actually. Uh, I think it, the screen operates well. The unit is very, very straightforward. I mean, really, you only have three buttons, and uh, it does exactly what you need it to. Yes, it doesn't give you a combined dose like the Therapy does, but then again, uh, I think for some people, this is really all you would need. Very impressed with this meter, and uh, if you're on the lookout for something, you know, old looking ret with a retro feel to it, but still works today, yeah, um, I would definitely consider the, the Bella. But listen, as always, thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.